the Bush administration should have been way in front of this. I can talk about some of the things that we have done here if you wish, but again, I think that we should look forward and go with the uh, hearings. So more hearings. That is what Nancy Pelosi wants to see in response to the Wall Street mess. She's not alone, but would more hearings just be more taxpayer money wasted? Let's ask a man who would obviously play a vital role in those hearings, Ohio Congressman Dennis Kucinich. Congressman, always good to have you. My only fear with hearings is they waste time. Do we have time for them? Well, well certainly no one wants to see the economy collapse. Let's uh, assert that right at the beginning. But uh, there's, if there's going to be any kind of a bailout, Neil, there has to be some changes. There has to be regulations. There has to be transparency. There's going to have to be uh, some givebacks by these executives who walked away with millions of dollars in their uh, funny deals. And there's going to have to be a, an equity position for the, uh, for the government. We can't just give this money as a, quote, investment, unquote, and not get anything solid in return. If the taxpayers can see that they can make a profit from this at the end, that's fine. But if we're just being uh, taken for a ride, that's another thing. All right. Now, do you suspect with this package that's what's happening? You're going to be taken for a ride? Well, you know, it, it's uh, axiomatic that you cannot give uh, a, pr a person a blank check if they've written you bad checks. And so we have to make sure that uh, we see the papers here. There has to be some disclosure, Neil. If there's no disclosure, we're being asked to, uh, uh, to buy something that is totally unseen. Well, I mean, let me ask you then, Congressman. The I'm sorry, and, sir. And but ask you to invest in it afterwards. You'd have to ask, okay, well, okay. you know, let me find out a little bit about what this guy actually worth. You have a good gut on this stuff, far better than mine. If you had to read congressional response to this, I'm told that a lot of your colleagues are very nervous. They'll approve it. They'll approve the rescue um, because they're so nervous. In your gut, is that the case? Well, you know, everyone ought to be concerned if some if the Wall Street's asking for seven hundred billion dollars. But these are the same people who have driven com companies into the ground, who went wild with speculation, who walked away with golden parachutes and huge stock options. And uh, you know, we have to ask hard questions before we give up this money. I mean, what would a prudent lender do? Think about that, Neil. If we're the banker now, what would a prudent lender do? He would ask the questions. It'd have to be forced. Well, uh, shouldn't disclosure. you? Not you, particular kind. Shouldn't you guys have been asked questions? I know you. have your party has painted Bush as evil and he doesn't see his reflection when he walks by a mirror and he's probably got horns and he's Lucifer and all that stuff. But I mean, this, the, before the buck stops at him, I mean, it, it passes through you guys, right? So well, what you have know, you the, done? The, Who the, have you guys warned Neil, about? Neil, you're absolutely right. This is a, um, a bipartisan responsibility. Now, but you have to look back to 1987 when Alan Greenspan took over. The uh, debt was about, uh, all public and private debt was about $10.5 uh, when he left, uh, it was about $43 trillion, so we had a quadrupling of public, public and private debt. We have a debt-based economy and a debt-based monetary system. That has real consequences, and we're seeing this reflected in what's happening with the roller coaster on Wall Street. If you don't have regulation, you have speculation, you're looking at an economy that's, even if we come up with this fix, we'll be looking at a collapse down, down the that's road. That's a very good point. You know what, uh, uh, to be fair to you, Congressman, you kind of spell it out, and you, you oftentimes blame and go after many in your own party, the other party, you're fair about this. And what I find really kind of galling now is these people who just say, we know nothing, we didn't see this coming, we didn't okay. see Fanny, Freddie, and, and that, it. I, I know it's tempting to sort of blame Bush for everything, and he's a buffoon, and that's, and many in your party just love to do that, but, but it, whatever responsibility he bears, certainly many in your party bear responsibility as well. Why does he always come off as the villain? Well, well let, let, me speak, let me speak to that. I mean, it's a fact that the, that the national uh, debt is almost doubled under the Bush administration. That's a fact. But let me tell you something else. But, it's a, but it's a fact 19, that you guys, no, but, 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 but it's a fact that you You're guys vote on a lot of that stuff, right? You're going to want to hear it. You're right. In 1999, the Congress passed a, uh, a repeal of Glass-Steagall. They passed the Financial Modernization Act, which, which, which uh, when they passed it, it broke down all the Depression era, um, uh, the post-Depression era protections that were made for the economy. So in 1999, Democrats and Republicans alike opened the door for the speculation that occurred on Wall Street, and that's why we have to re-regulate. But, you know, you're right. I mean, this isn't just about uh, Republicans. I want to make that very clear. Republicans and Democrats alike are going to suffer from the consequences, and we need to make sure that the American taxpayer, if they are going to ante up $700 billion, is going to see a right. radically changed game where they not only have an equity position in this, but where there has to be disclosure and transparency and, and, a, and some givebacks on the part of the okay. people who have profited from 
from uh, this uh, uh, run in Wall Street. Congressman, thank you very much. Congressman Dennis Kucinich. All right, well, Sarah Palin sounding like a Democrat, some say. Wait till you hear what Newt Gingrich says about that after this.